All right, hello teammates, uh, Chief Ladarchek here. Uh, glad to be, connect with you in the virtual realm. I've got with me today uh, Chris Powell, our, our, uh, our housing resident advocate, uh, who takes on issues uh, on your behalf between uh, you yourself, the, the homeowner, uh, for those that live on base, and our, our, our housing office. So he'll speak to more to his role a little bit later, but just want to want to bring to you, if, if you've been living under a rock, you probably haven't heard, but I'm sure you all have heard, uh, the increase in our BAH rates ranging from 60 to $90 uh, a month, dependent on your, your rank and with or without dependents. And there's going to be a, a file uh, attached to this message by which you can, you can look and see how that applies to you. Or you can go to the DOD uh, website and, and look there in raw form. And I believe we're going to have a link to that uh, for you as well. So how does that apply to those that live on base, our housing residents? So uh, one, make sure that you see in your pay that the increase uh, takes place. Uh, if that doesn't, obviously reach out to your first line supervisor, first sergeant, work with finance, and we'll get that resolved uh, ASAP. Uh, the other piece to that is be cognizant of how uh, BBC is taking the new rate or not yet taking your new rate. So if, if that takes a, a month or two to, to resolve itself, expect that your January full new rate will be uh, subtracted from your bank account. Uh, so don't go out and, and spend that, that money because uh, BBC is going to come after it. Uh, we're, we're pressing the buttons to, to make sure that that happens uh, more quickly, more, uh, you know, in up to speed with, with the, the rate increase itself, uh, but there's processes to everything and, and it might take a few. So just be, just watch your LESs on that. Any issues with any of that, again, first line supervisor, first sergeant uh, and finance can, can help. Uh, one thing, I, I get asked a lot of questions on how BAH is determined. Uh, well, for one, it's, it's, not, it's not designed to buy a home. It is 95% of the fair market rental rate uh, within your region, and and let's talk about region because uh, the the rumor out there is that we're we're tied specifically to Emirato, which is not true. Uh, they'll, they'll, there's a map below that that will tell you all the zip codes that fall within the Grand Forks uh, Air Force Base region, and there's pin drops on, on those maps uh, that will show you exactly where the assessments were taken, which is 100% inside of the city of Grand Forks. So if the issue is that, well, in my VHQ container on the LES is the Emirato uh, zip code, that's something that we can easily change uh, through our finance professionals. Uh, so voice up if, if you want that container, that number to change, we can make that happen, no problem. Uh, and so with that, I'll turn it over to uh, Chris Powell, our resident advocate uh, for anything else, anything further, did I miss anything? No, I think you hit it. And I think one one more point on the BAH would be that um, when they're calculating the BAH, they do it with a, um, they use what uh, air mustacher would be in the community. Like, you know, what would a 21 year old in Grand Forks be living in? And that's what they compare it to. It's not necessarily the exa just the money. It has the, the demographics of the makeup of the, like a colonel would be living in a house, you know, a senior NCO house. And then it goes on down to duplexes, then apartments. So it's, it's not the same as on base. It's, a little, it's always a little confusing when people see the housing that are authorized on base and then downtown. And that's about all I got to say. Right on. You want to speak to the Yeah, I'm gonna, while we're here, I'd like to let everybody know we're, um, we have a base, um, private base housing resident council, and we're doing a membership drive. So um, my email will be down on the bottom of this as well, and you can send me it. And um, the resident council, um, we... We work right for the vice wing commander. So your voices, any issues, improvements, anything that you want to do like that, that um, that resident council can push up and, you know, we can ask for improvements or, you know, if you're just happy, you can do say that too. But I mean, it's a very effective organization and um, I'm looking for members. So please sign up. Awesome. Appreciate your time. Appreciate everything you guys are doing out there to make the 319th uh, mission tick.